What's up guys? Alright, so when I did start this whole YouTube thing, I thought I was going to do kind of an outdoor channel. Guns, knives, camping gear, uh, things of that sort. Hiking, backpacking, hunting, fishing, all of that. Uh, it's a little tough to do it every day or every week because right now I live in Minneapolis. I'm going to school here, so uh, it's hard to get out and do a lot of those outdoor activities legitimately here. Um, I could walk around a bike path or uh, some area that taxpayers paid way too much money to have a couple trees surrounding what they call a lake here in the land of 10,000 lakes. But uh, it's tough to do with the town I'm from. I've got plenty to do. That's where all my guns are at. I've got a lot of guns, a lot of shooting to do this spring, this summer, a lot of fishing, a lot of hunting to come up. But uh, right now, this winter time is just starting to get into spring. It's tough to get out and do a lot of those things. So I got a camping trip coming up in uh, April, so about a month from now. So that'd be a good little uh, backpacking trip at the Superior Hiking Trail. Um, but I decided one of my other passions was beer. Um, prefer or specifically uh, darker beers like stouts and porters and uh, good ales and uh, stuff like that. So I decided I was probably gonna do some beer reviews. Uh, you can see here I've got seven different beers in front of me. If you call this beer, um, I just threw this in here for good humor because I guess when I'm on a mission, I go for the Keystone. I like to be smooth like Keith Stone. But uh, normally I'm a big stout drinker, so um, I've been doing some research. I am in no way a uh, beer professional. Uh, I'm, I'm not a connoisseur. I'd like to someday consider myself that because I do love beer. Um, I love everything about it, but uh, I'm going to do my uh, rookie little uh, noob version of a beer review for you guys. Um, all I'm going to do all of these beers and then a bunch more. I've got a good liquor store here that sells a lot of good micro brews and stuff. So um, I got a bunch of stouts that I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off with. Uh, I think this is a new one I'm going to start off with here. I got too many choices here. Get these out of the way. Um, I might even do a, a review on Keystone. But uh, I think I'm going to do this Moo Juice. This is uh, the Bra Bre Brothers Brewing, Brewing Company. Can't talk. Uh, this is brewed in Lucan, Minnesota. Uh, population of 220 people so this is a real small small brewery um, give you a look at it here you can see that population of 220 uh, Moo Juice Oatmeal Milk Stout the bottle it says uh, Moo Juice combines the full body of a milk stout with silky smoothness of an oatmeal stout Lactose sugar in the boil contributes a full and creamy mouthfeel, while toasted and flaked oats in the mash round out the beer with an oily texture. A deep malt builds a deep malt bill builds layers of roasty notes with hints of chocolate, coffee, and anise. A traditional British cask yeast is then pitched, which leaves us with a fruity malty ale. All right, so let's let this warm up a little bit. Uh, stouts from what I've experienced and what I've read are definitely better in the 50 degree range, 50 to 60 degrees. Some people say I prefer more in the 40 to 50. Uh, it's just my personal preference, but uh, I haven't tried this yet. This is my first time trying this. Um, I'm going off of beeradvocate.com. They have a thing that tells you how to taste beer, what to look for, and it's got all the beer uh, terms, terminology, everything you really want to know about beer. If you want to find beer reviews, it's on there. Uh, once again, it's beeradvocate.com. I'll put a link uh, below if anybody's interested in that. Uh, it's a really cool place to check out. So, um, picked up this. It's kind of cool to wrap up a little camping gear into this. A little Kershaw carabiner with a serrated scallop blade on it. Locking carabiner. Pretty cool. Some of that's gonna throw go in my backpacking back, but it's got a bottle opener, so I figured we'd throw that in here. Crack this bad boy open. Oh, bottle opener is not the best, but it works. Um, so what we're gonna go by is a uh, review: is appearance, smell, taste, mouthfeel, 
and drinkability is what we're going to go on. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pour this 45 degree angle at first and then I like to pour right through the center just to get some head and uh, they say it releases flavors but I don't know. So you can see there there's not much head to it. Um, normally I like a thicker head so that's a little disappointing but smell wise it's um, uh, really roasted hot almost a burnt almost a smoky smell to it definitely chocolate there's definitely a heavy chocolate smell to it it smells good um, give it a shot kind of a sweet, sweet in the beginning, get a bitterness at the end, but um, aftertaste goes away pretty fast. Tastes good. Chocolatey, really chocolatey coffee. If you've had a stout before, this is really good. Um, Mouthfeel. I mean by like, is it creamy, is it watery, is it bitter, is it dry? This is really creamy. This, um, it almost leaves a film in your mouth. Not quite, but that's the best way I can, can explain it. This is pitch black. Even holding up to the light, you can't see through it. I mean, it's, that's a dark beer. Oh, this is really good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not good at pulling out flavors out of beer. Uh, I know it's good. Bra Brothers Brewing Company in Lucan, Minnesota, population 220 people. Moo Juice. That's good. Leaves kind of that roasted feeling, a roasted taste at the end. Yeah. I don't know, sorry. I don't have a lot of words to explain it just because, uh, like I said, I'm not a professional at all, but if you like stouts, that's a good one. That's one of the better ones I've ever had, and that was only $6.99 for a six-pack. Of course, I'm in Minnesota, so that's a local thing, so I don't, I don't even know if you guys can find this or not, but um, it really does leave almost a film in your mouth. It's almost like, you, like if you drink whole milk, and you kind of get that that film in your mouth kind of feeling where you can you can tell something was there it's got that but it's really creamy not a lot of carbonation there's a little bit there's a hint of it uh, just enough uh, I'm not a big fan of the real watery stouts that really don't have much carbonation to them at all this has got just enough that, that goes too I don't like ones that are real uh, real full of the foam <coughs> um, but that's good so, uh, yeah, props to these guys. Um, hope this beer review didn't suck. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry. I'm going to get into more outdoor stuff, but I'm going to have a lot more beer reviews coming because, uh, you know what, it's my channel, and this is something that I like along with my guns and knives and hiking and outdoor gear. So uh, beer's just going to be a part of that. And watch it, don't watch it, I don't care. Thanks, guys.